Chris get the banana was the defining joke that came out of Delta in Chapter 2. An unforgettable moment between our protagonist and antagonist that highlights Toby Fox's complete understanding of internet humour and culture. But why is it funny? If you've played any of Toby Fox's Undertale or Deltarune, you'll know that he loves his humour. Both games feature wacky characters subverted against serious backdrops in order to make them more effective. If you want an example, look no further than this scene in Undertale. Papyrus wants you and Undyne, a fish who wants to murder you, to become friends. So to force you two to become friends, Papyrus says he has to go to the bathroom and leaps out the window Scott Pilgrim style. He just left. It's a great moment because it perfectly plays into everything that's been set up by Toby throughout the game, as well as how absurd the moment is. We know Papyrus is a wacky guy who just naturally does funny things like not notice you behind a human shaped lamp, but it also just breaks what's expected at the moment. Sure, you expect him to leave but not randomly jump out the window, fully committing to the absurdity of the moment. And I think that's what's so perfect about Toby Fox's humour. Context, subverting expectations, and commitment. Context is important to any joke. It sounds so obvious when you think about it. We need to know more about these characters and settings so we know why it's funny. At this point in the chapter, we've interacted with Queen for a while now. We were introduced to her as a villain, the queen of the cyber world, but as we've seen her, we don't really see her villain in comparison to the previous chapter's villain, the king. The king was extremely threatening and serious to Chris, Susie, and Ralse. Not to say that the queen isn't threatening, but nothing she does is out of malice, rather just make the citizens of the cyber world happy. We see her jokingly mock Chris and Susie, hide from Birdly, and throw acid wine glasses making low quality explosions, and even show liking towards the main cast by the end of the chapter, highlighting how she wasn't meant to be the serious, scary villain, but rather a lovable, hilarious figure. In the moments leading up to the banana scene, Queen has entered a truce with Chris, and Queen is also looking for Noelle, who's actually masking her face with a cardboard box, hiding from the Queen literally a meter behind her, which creates an intense moment in the car as we think that Queen has realised that Noelle's with her, but in reality she sees a banana and asks Chris to get it. Another part of the context is Queen's character setup, with her being a computer and just generally being a brighter, more positive character, allows her to be in so many comedic circumstances. But what if we threw this context away? The whole core of the Chris Get the Banana joke is the subversion and randomness of it. At this moment we expect Queen to catch on to Noelle anxiously muttering in the back of the car, but instead she asks Chris to get the banana that's in the middle of the road, saying just potassium when they collect it. This is not at all what you expected to happen, and I think that's why it's so funny. Toby humour is what he called it in an interview in 2015, which is from what I can define as humour that comes from subverting seriousness or horror with randomness, and definitely early internet culture. Many early viral videos like Badger's, Astiff Movie, and definitely stuff on Tumblr would have not only inspired Toby's writing, but also the idea for an internet-based character. The potassium part of the end is also a great random moment. We don't really know what Queen will say once we get the banana, her just saying potassium is so out of left field and it's hilarious. The whole part of the banana being on the road is also a subversion of expectations. Like in Mario Kart, when you see a banana you think, oh shit, I'm gonna slip on that. You don't think, oh god, I gotta grab that banana. So it's a subversion on what would normally happen. Another genius part of the joke is how it's a running gag throughout the chapter. While the joke would still be great if it was done once, the second usage of it is what showcases the genius behind it. When you're in the tunnel with Rolse whilst Birdly and Susie are trying to save Noelle, Rolse and Chris are there to distract Queen, yet the banana appears again and Queen asks Chris to get it, but Rolse tries to stop you, saying that Chris won't do anything she says, yet of course you're you, you did it, it's funny. The fact that it's a running joke is what makes it even funnier, the protest from Ralse heightening the joke after the first time, bringing it to a whole new level of absurdity. You're there to stop the queen, not crab bananas. Those are some of the most important elements I see to this joke, or it could all just be stupid. Yeah, I can break down all these comedic elements and how it's genius, but really, at the end of the day, it's stupid. It's random. Chris get banana funny potassium. It's a stupidly fun moment in a game that has a completely dark and serious story. Not to say the entire story of Deltarune is doom and gloom, you ate moss like 10 minutes before this, but the underlying story to Deltarune is quite dark. Just a reminder, through your head when you're playing Chapter 2, there are so many questions and theories about Chris, the knife, the soul, Ralsei, who's that man behind the tree, how am I gonna get out of the cyber world? <laughs> It's a completely absurd and stupid moment in a game which has a darker undertone. I don't want to downplay Toby's genius writing. The line before the banana bit, Lion as love traffic they look it up all the time, is so clever for so many reasons, and the banana is no exception to this genius. The subversion with randomness is what makes this moment so great. Sure, random humour isn't always the best, but in my opinion, it's what builds this unforgettable moment and an unforgettable game. If you like videos on Deltarim, subscribe to my channel. I'm nearly at 10k and I'd appreciate it. Have a nice day. Thank you.